Harry could have done something. Diana's former bodyguard blames the prince for not protecting Meghan's father from the press, and insists Thomas Markle shouldn't be seen as an ogre. Princess Diana's former bodyguard has said that Prince Harry must take responsibility for his role in the Thomas Markle debacle. In a new interview with Yahoo News The Royal Box, retired Metropolitan Police Inspector Ken Wharf, 69, said the royal should have insisted that aides were dispatched to help the retired lighting director, 74, cope with media attention around his daughter's wedding. He's not an unintelligent guy. He's been through the mill himself. He knows what press intrusion is like. He has a drawbridge and a portcullis to hide behind when they pursue him. Thomas Markle doesn't. Nobody's looking after him. They're going to bend his arm. There'll be the offer's money. There'll be the pursuing paparazzi, the invasion and the negative reporting that we've seen. Harry could have done something about that. He may have advised palace officials. Maybe he did. But he could have insisted on that. He could well have done. But for some reason it hasn't happened and he said that he has sympathy for Mr. Markle despite his constant public outbursts, adding, I don't think we should dismiss her father as someone who's made mistakes here, as an ogre. His behavior are as a result of poor advice or no advice. As protection officer to the late Diana, Princess of Wales, Ken Wharf was in charge of round-the-clock security at home and abroad, from 1987 until 1993 and closely observed the young princes as they grew up and he said that it would have been obvious to members of the royal household that problems with Meghan's family could arise, long before she and Harry announced their engagement in December 2017. I think the palace were at fault not to earmark this problem very early on in this engagement or even in that relationship and decide how are we going to address this with her father, he explained. These are ordinary folk divorced living in a foreign land and suddenly their daughters marrying a prince. This was always going to be a problem. There are a lot aides and advisors in the royal household that could easily have set up something way before this wedding to ensure that the rights and the privacy of her father, irrespective of what her father has done in his life, that's irrelevant, to assist him through this once-in-a-lifetime experience. Because what's happening to him now is, what I suspected would happen to him is that once the fairy tale moves off, the press want the next story. And the story is her father, her brother, her sister, her mother, and so it continues. This could have been softened considerably, had he had the advice of people in the palace to ensure this didn't happen. Meghan's mother Doria impressed onlookers at the royal wedding with her grace and dignity, but Ken said she simply made it look easy when the very opposite is true. It would be very difficult for any parent outside of royalty. Meghan's mother, this diminutive lady with absolute style arriving at Windsor Castle in front of global media, that's very daunting for anybody. I've worked and moved within the royal household on a number of occasions and it's quite daunting experience. Palace advisors should take some level of criticism for not softening the blow for Thomas Markle, and unfortunately the media will now stay him. The story will run until there's an answer. We heard he put the phone down on Harry who told him not to play with the media.